CIA, So there is a program called Landsat, probably stands for Land Imaging Satellite, Landsat Satellite, and they have um, they carry sensors that are not only sensitive to visible light but also sensitive to uh, a couple different bands of infrared light. Um, so, for example, here is a picture of I think. infrared and shortwave infrared spectrum, um, since the plantation or forest that is burned will reflect different, um, re will reflect infrared light differently. So here we can very clearly see the scars from fire burns, and that's one very useful application for um, satellite And so on the handout, there are three sets of pictures um, that are taken by Landsat satellite. On the left, they're generally what human eyes can see. So it is composed of, um, it is composed of the uh, red, green, blue color. And others, the picture on the right, will make use of different bands of infrared. Um, see, Talk to your neighbor and see if you can answer the application question for each of those pictures. Maybe spend like one minute on each of these and we'll talk about it. <coughs> Just to let you know we only have 10 minutes left on this class period. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll just make sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 
So, so, so the color scheme on the right, like it clearly labels um, red and green. So you can see the burnt forest better. Does that make sense? <clears throat> and if you, and if we move on to the third picture, um, if anyone. Wants to share your thoughts?
um, one important application for the Landsat satellite. Um, so for a little bit, well, not my question, but there are satellites um, that can take way more, um, uh, that have sensors that are in, uh, sensitive to way more part of the spectrum. And if, um, if, if the sensors are, uh, the number of sensors are a lot, and um, essentially the satellites can take pictures on the ground at a, so on each pixel, the sensors can read the whole spectrum information. And if people on the ground can do some experimental lab work to confirm some um, spectrogram of material on the ground, have any one uh, is spectrogram something that you have heard of? Or spectroscopy? Not? Shape? OK, that's probably something that is very deep into this. But um, there are a curve that describes the absorption, how much light, uh, how much light in each portion of the spectrum is being absorbed by some material. And using those kind of satellites, we can identify the material on the surface. 